Good morning. Uh, my name is Jairus Obrador. I'm an applications engineer here at uh, Maximum Solutions Corporation. So a little bit of background on myself. I'm a certified professional for Revit Architecture, Revit MEP Mechanical, uh, Revit MEP Electrical. And also I'm a certified instructor uh, for Autodesk. So uh, for today's session, I want to talk about the Revit issues add-in and how it can help uh, you guys in the AEC industry to collaborate uh, within your design. So first of all, let's jump into our agenda. So he here is our agenda for today. So first, let's talk about the Autodesk Construction Cloud. Uh, so basically, this will be the backbone of this whole, um, uh, whole presentation. And then we'll talk about the Revit uh, issues add-in. And then I'll do a live demo of the Revit issues add-in. Um, and then a little bit of wrap up. And then we'll jump to our Q&A. OK, so um, let's first have a poll. So Mom Janice, can you um, execute the poll? Yeah, so the first question here is, do you have, a pro uh, do you have projects in the cloud? So the choices are yes, it's in the uh, Autodesk Construction Cloud Unified Platform. And the next choice is yes, it's in the BIM 360 platform. And lastly, if you don't have a project in the cloud, just pick none. So let's wait for um, our um, attendees to actually answer this um, poll. Okay, so with this, we will know uh, who among our uh, audience has an experience in having a cloud project. Almost half of our attendees already answered. Okay, so let's just wait for the results. Okay, so most of us here uh, do not have a project yet at, uh, you know, in the cloud. Uh, but I think there is a user here or um, an attendee that has a project in the BIM 360 platform. Okay, so thank you for your answers. So thank let's uh, uh, go for the next question. Okay. So this next question is, have you used the Revit issues add-in? So it's just a yes or no. So uh, guys, please be honest with your answers here. <laughs> so I think based from the first question, um, we can assume that um, little, to, or little or no one has used the Revit issues add-in yet in, in our audience. Okay, so uh, someone has used the Revit issues add-in, and then most of the um, attendees uh, have not used it. Okay, so we can move on. So thank you guys for um, your interaction with us. Yes. In this, uh, uh, you know, in this session. Okay, so let's first discuss the Autodesk Construction Cloud. So why do we have these platforms uh, in the cloud right now? So Basically, the landscape of the AEC industry has changed uh, due to the COVID-19 pandemic. So current businesses are looking to harness cloud solutions as the new normal for the design practice. So with the power of the cloud, continuity can be maintained through working anytime, anywhere, on anything in order to minimize risks to be more efficient in daily operations. So cloud solutions also present an ecosystem of tools that help in certain tasks, such as design collaboration and model coordination. So this gives us clarity and organization on managing unpredictability and disruptions. So this is possible with a common data environment wherein information is accessible for all team members. 
And lastly, with the power of the cloud, um, visibility and insights are also shown into daily design work. So insights make project management easier and directs us to where we should allocate our resources. So collaboration has been reshaped due to the current pandemic and it continues to evolve. So companies are investing more into digitization with solutions which connects the whole team, offer flexibility and provide powerful insights. So it's connected in terms of common data environment, as I've said a while ago. So flexible in terms of different workflows that you can do within the platform and powerful in terms of learning from analytics and insights. So this is the um, Autodesk Construction Cloud. So basically the Autodesk Construction Cloud is a collection of Autodesk uh, cloud solutions, including BIM 360, Plan Grid, Building Connected, Assemble, Pipe, and the Autodesk Construction Cloud Connect. Most of our existing clients right now, they use BIM 360. But bit by bit, they are transitioning to the new platform, which is the Autodesk Construction Cloud, or also term this as the unified platform. So basically, uh, what Autodesk did here is to uh, actually get the best of these solutions and jam it into one platform. So uh, basically, we have the features of BIM 360 and Plan Grid into one platform, which is the Autodesk Construction Cloud. And again, we term this as the unified platform. So if someone asks, um, is BIM 360 different uh, to the Autodesk Construction Cloud? So actually, BIM 360 is inside the Autodesk Construction Cloud. But again, BIM 360 remains as a um, independent platform with um, independent developers uh, separate from the Unified Platform or the Autodesk Construction Cloud. So here are the products of the Autodesk Construction Cloud. So as you can see, we have um, Autodesk Docs, BIM Collaborate, BIM Collaborate Pro, um, Autodesk Build, and Autodesk Takeoff. So those are the products. And as you can see here, for example, if I uh, purchase BIM Collaborate Pro, so I will be able to access uh, the classic products, which is the BIM 360 design and C4R or collaboration for Revit. So basically, if you're still using the old platforms, you just have to purchase these new ACC products for you to be able to access them. So a little bit of feature highlight for each of these Autodesk Construction Cloud products. So we have Autodesk Docs as the backbone, which is the document management platform. And then we also have um, BIM Collaborate Pro for our Revit work sharing and collaboration. So Autodesk take off for um, estimation. And then lastly, we have Autodesk Build. So Autodesk Build is for field management. So you have project management, um, quality, safety, and close out right there. So with all that, uh, with the uh, overview of the uh, Autodesk Construction Cloud, let's go to the overview naman ng issues add-in your Revit. So basically, uh, this is uh, um, an add-on or add-in in the Revit uh, application. So this will help us actually better manage the issues that are created in the Autodesk Construction Cloud products. So these are the pain points that uh, current Revit users uh, have. So basically, first, there is a manual processing of issues. So basically, what's happening is they go to the Autodesk Construction Cloud platform. They get a, a PDF copy or um, um, software copy or soft copy of the issues list and issues details. And they look at it. And then they go to the Revit application. And then they uh, address those issues. So it's a bit of a manual process right now. Uh, for them. And then uh, also there's a use of multiple applications to manage uh, the workflow. So basically you have to uh, go to Autodesk Construction Cloud and then go to Revit um, and then back and forth to address or um, resolve the issues that are made in the Autodesk Construction Cloud. And lastly, there's lack of transparency on the issue lifecycle since if you're on Revit, 
you cannot immediately see those issues, you still have to go back to the uh, Autodesk Construction Cloud to actually uh, have insights or oversights of the uh, issues at hand. So the goal is to um, have a seamless issue management process between design review, coordination, and design authoring. So again, this can be achieved if um, we integrate uh, that issues list into our Revit application, which is uh, what Autodesk did. So the Revit issues add-in, so this is how we actually create uh, the issues and resolve them within uh, Revit. So basically, you just have to create uh, the issue in any Autodesk Construction Cloud module, such as Autodesk Docs or uh, BIM Collaborate or BIM Collaborate Pro. Then afterwards, uh, when you've created these issues, uh, the Revit users uh, in which the issues are assigned can now review, fix, and update the issue within the Revit application. So what are the key points here? So first key point, so no special licenses or entitlements are required for the Revit issues add-in. So basically what you just need is the Revit and Autodesk Construction Cloud products subscription. So the issue pins are temporary. So that's how you mark the issues here. So issue pins, so they're temporary and they can be toggled on or off. So there's no alterations, no modifications in the model and elements within it whatsoever. So the selected issues are highlighted and um, the camera view zooms into the issue when you click an issue pin or when you actually click the issue in the issues panel of the Revit issues add-in. And then lastly, issues uh, load automatically for the latest published version in the Autodesk Construction Cloud or BIM 360. Uh, but what's good about here is that issues can be loaded from different locations. So uh, let's say different folders within your document management. So uh, for example, the work in progress folder or the shared folder, we're in the same file resides. So this is the um, snapshot or screenshot of the Revit issues add-in. So as you can see here, uh, we have the issues tab. So once that you've installed the Revit issues add-in, you will have this issues tab. And within the issues tab, you have um, manage issues, associated models, and overview. So once that you've clicked manage issues, this issues panel on the right will appear. And as you can see here, there are also pins within the model. So these are actually the issues that are created in the Autodesk Construction Cloud by uh, your team members in the project. And then with the issues add-in, you can view the actual issues uh, at hand. So for example, issue number one here, so there's a clash, um, a clash issue right here assigned to a particular person. And then within Revit, since Revit is the modeling software, you can actually edit and then update the issue uh, once that it's fixed. Okay, so how do we interact with an issue? So again, you just have to select the issue uh, from the issues panel. And then once that you've selected that, uh, you can review the issue location within the model space of Revit. And then once that you've fixed it, you can now um, update the status of the uh, issue at hand. So also, again, as I've said, you can load um, different, uh, you know, sets of issues on the same file on different folders. So, for example, um, the M systems, the RVT file right here, um, is located at the shared folder and in the work in progress folder. So, um, there are different uh, people managing those models, and of course, with different. Uh, people, they have different issues that they have created in those files. And then, um, as you can see here, uh, the issues in the uh, work in progress folder and in the shared folder will be combined and showed in the Revit model. So um, I will show this to you later on uh, in the live demo uh, part. 
Oh, it's the live demo part of this uh, session. So I'll just go ahead and share uh, my Revit and the Autodesk Construction Cloud uh, to you. So let me just um, switch my windows here. Yeah, so let's start in the homepage of the Autodesk Construction Cloud. So first, uh, this is the Autodesk Construction Cloud. And in the Autodesk Construction Cloud, uh, basically, uh, in your organization, you are assigned uh, one account site. And in each account site, you can create unlimited number of projects. So in this case, I have a lot of projects here, but I'm focusing on one project, which is the Health Center 2023. So uh, once that I've clicked that project, um, I can see the project details here because I'm the project admin of this project. I can see the members. So these are my colleagues. So we have uh, actually two companies here. We have Maximum Solutions Corporation and we have Autodesk. Then you can actually um, view the details of your project and you can actually dive into the files within the project in the uh, Autodesk Docs or Document Management Platform. So now I'm in Autodesk Docs. I can actually see the folders or the folder structure that um, has been made in this project. And if I go ahead in my work in progress project, I'll be able to see the files within it. So I'll focus first on um, this MEP file, the M Systems RVT. I can navigate through specific views. So I, I will immediately go to the uh, four coordination view right here. And as you can see here, issues have been made by me and my um, other colleagues. And you can see different colors. So we have the yellow pins, we have the blue pins, and we have uh, the purple ones. Okay, so actually, if you go here on the uh, left side of the interface right here, you can see the issues tab, and then you can see the list of issues that have been made on this file. So for example, I click issue number one, which is at the bottom. So as you can see here, I can immediately see that particular element. Okay. So again, this model uh, is in the cloud. So that's why I can view it on my browser. And the issues are assigned by the team members. So as you can see, the uh, issue pin currently is purple, so that means it's in review. So as you click the issue, you'll see the issue details on the right side. So the status is in review, but actually you can change it. So de depending on your permissions, so you can actually revert it back to open or make it blue to say that it's pending. And if it's been resolved, you can actually tag it as closed. So I'll show you how to create an issue first here in uh, the model. So for example, uh, we see um, this connects like this. So we can actually create an issue using uh, this tool in the right. So let's say this is a design issue and then I can um, uh, put the pin on a certain element. So I can say that this is a um, pipe, uh, pipe disconnect. And then I can assign it to a particular person. So let's say I'm assigning this to Ray. And then I can add a watcher. So I can add my other colleagues. So I can add Eloisa and um, Jarek. And then once that I've done that, I can add other details. So I can uh, actually add references. Then I can also add comments. So I can say here that please um, connect immediately. So I can even put um, a deadline for this. So for example, due date, um, I want it resolved by Saturday. So yeah, so that's how you create an issue. Then I'll click on submit. So that's how you create an issue here at um, Autodesk Docs. Uh, but you can also create uh, issues um, with BIM Collaborate Pro. So let's say so let's get out of this um, uh, docs platform and then go to model coordination. So you'll have model coordination module if you have BIM Collaborate Pro. 
So here in the model coordination, you can actually do clash checks. So here, actually, I have created a view for MEP and the structural file. So this will only show the MEP elements and the structural elements. And then with this, I can immediately view the clashes within the model. So for example, I can uh, focus on certain um, elements like this. So you can, as you can see here, there's clashing between the oval ducts and the uh, structural framing. So I, I've actually created an issue for this, but let's say we, we'll create an issue for this uh, fitting, which is actually hitting the uh, structural beam. So what I can do here is actually, I can just check it here in um, the um, panel right there. And then I can click on create an issue. And then I can now um, select the location of the pin. So for example, I've put it there and then this will load. Again, same procedure. Uh, there will be um, an issue panel here at the right side and then I can actually um, add details. So I'll assign this to Jarek and then, yeah. So what's good about here is in model coordination, it immediately provides a screenshot of that particular um clash and then um yeah i can again i can add details so i can actually not put a due date on this and then i can just uh you know add comments like um please uh fix so once that i've submitted that um issue is now uh, uploaded and then i can close this one so now what we'll do is that we'll jump into Revit and see if those issues have been added on the issues panel. So I have my Revit open here. So uh, the homepage of Revit actually shows this, but if you have um, Autodesk Docs or BIM Collaborate Pro or whatever product in the um, Autodesk Construction Cloud, you can actually uh, use the Autodesk Docs tab right here and then open up your cloud model. So in this case, I have um, a lot of projects here for Maximum Solutions Corporation. And then I can browse the uh, folder uh, like what you've seen in the Autodesk Construction Cloud a while ago. So here I'll open the work in progress folder and then I'll open the M Systems file or the MEP file, which I um, used a while ago in the uh, Autodesk Construction Cloud. So actually I've opened this, so to minimize the loading time, I've opened this before. And then I can go to uh, to the view wherein I created the, uh, those issues. So actually, if, uh, even if I haven't gone into the view, if I go to my manage, or I mean to my issues tab, and I click manage issues, you will see that the issues panel will be loaded on the right side. And let's say, let's click um, uh, the issues, the new issues that I've added. So currently I have two models here. So let's just open one. So as you can see, number 27 is right here. We see that. So this is the fitting that's actually hitting the, um, the structural beam. And so I can actually modify this. So as you can see, once that I've clicked that issue in the issues panel, as I've clicked that, it immediately zooms in that view and also selects the particular element with an issue. And now I can edit this so I can move this uh, to the uh, right um, to actually, uh, you know, not hit the structural beam. So I can do that and then um, I can say here that the issue is now closed because I've moved it to the right and now it has been resolved. Okay, and then I'll click um, X here to go back to the list. So again, um, in this uh, view, as I've said in the uh, key points a while ago, you can actually 
toggle on or off the um, the pins. So this um, feature actually allows you to view the model better. And these pins do not actually modify the the um, the model or the elements within it. Okay, so um, another feature that we have here is that you can load different uh, uh, files. So on different folders. So for example, here, if I click on associated models, so I can actually find um, other uh, models we're in uh, with the same file name that has issues within it. And I can also load it here in my model. So actually in this example, I've already selected two files, which is in the shared folder and in the work in progress folder. And then each of these, they have issues. Uh, so the one in the work in progress folder has nine, and then the one in the shared folder has four. So um, I can actually get all those issues and come uh, and see them here in the model space in Revit. So if I click OK here, and um, I make sure to show those issues from both files, so you can see that um, more issues are being shown in the model space. So I can actually toggle on or off uh, the issues from the, that particular file. So let's say I turned off the issues from the work in progress folder, and now I can see the issues from the shared folder. So so this gives us more versatility on the issues that are loaded in the project. And yes, so what I can do here is to see that there's a disconnect. Um, then I can just immediately connect these uh, pipes. So once that you've connected those, um, you can update the status. So let's say we're in the process of doing so, so we can actually say in review right here, and then automatically that will be updated. So there are, um, again, in the Autodesk Construction Cloud projects, there are modelers and there are only uh, reviewers or reviewers. So the reviewers can actually create these issues um, and then the modelers can, or the designers can do the changes or whatsoever. So um, all stakeholders are connected within the Autodesk Construction Cloud. And with, with the help of this Revit issues add-in, uh, you know, it will bridge the gap between um, designers and reviewers. So let's go back to the Autodesk Construction Cloud. Yeah, so um, let's just look at uh, if the modifications that on the issues that we have are reflected here. So if I go to the issues tab and let's see for the, um, I think that's number 25 or 27. Yeah, so I tagged it as closed in Revit. And as you can see, um, uh, it's now closed here in the Autodesk Construction Cloud platform. So it updates immediately. So the uh, stakeholders that created this issue are now updated via email that uh, the issue has been closed. Okay, so I think that's it for our technical demonstration. So I'll go back to my um, presentation. So what's next? So this is the wrap up for um, this Revit issues add-in. So currently 2D sheet support um, is not yet present in this um, Revit issues add-in. So Autodesk is still working on this and we hope that um, this will be added soon enough. So also, uh, as you have no, may have noticed, you cannot create issues within Revit. So what you can only do in Revit is actually um, update, review uh, the issues. So you can change the status. You can actually add comments within Revit, but you cannot create those issues. So soon enough, um, let's hope that you can also create issues within the Revit platform. And also, uh, there's a no automatic snapshot on uh, when creating an issue. 
uh, but there's an automatic snapshot for uh, creating clash issues within the model coordination module. So we hope that in Autodesk Docs, there will be an added feature wherein you're going to get a snapshot um, automatically of the issue at hand or the element uh, with an issue. And also, uh, the issues tab, like what you've seen in the interface, uh, they're planning to integrate this in the Collaborate tab so that um, the direction is to immediately include this issues add-in on the stock uh, Revit installation so you don't have to install the Revit issues add-in separately. So again, um, I will promote the AEC collection. So the AEC collection contains a Revit and other products as well. You can create a lot of workflows with this product. So um, please try to consider um, purchasing one of these. And also the Autodesk Construction Cloud products. So if you're interested on other products here, so I didn't focus on these products, so I focus on the Revit issues add-in. So just please try to contact us so that we can uh, talk about this more. Okay, so here are the links that I've used for this um, session. So I, I can give this uh, links to you later on. And now I think we can move to our Q&A. Okay, once again, thank you very much, Sir Jerus Obrador, for that very clear uh, discussion about the Revit add-in issue. So, Actually, kanina nagkaroon ako ng phone call. May nag inquire agad for training. <laughs> so, thank you sa ating uh, attendee na nag inquire agad. So, to get started with the Q&A, ayan, may how much agad. <laughs> how much? So, siguro ang question dito ni Sir is, um, what, uh, what should I purchase to... Um, download the Revit issues add-in, Sir Jerus. Okay, so basically, just what, uh, just like what I've said in the key points. So, uh, there's no additional uh, subscriptions needed. So all you need to have is Revit, a subscription in Revit, and an ACC or Autodesk Construction Cloud product. So the easiest way to do this is to purchase the AEC collection since the AEC collection immediately contains Revit and all of the stock. So once that you have both of those, you can now um, create issues within the Autodesk Construction Cloud. And of course, you can use the Revit issues add-in. So the Revit issues add-in is free. So you just have to download it on your um, Autodesk um, on your Autodesk account management portal. So it's free. And then installation is very easy. You just have to um, next, next, and then yeah, you'll you'll you now have the Revit issues add in on your Revit. Okay, thank you for that, Sir Jerry. So, uh, if you're uh, if you're interested on buying our uh, AC collection, um, feel free to email us your details so we can send you a quotation. So you can email us at. Um, at our email, just uh, I'll just type in here my email, okay, and I will forward it to our sales. And for our next question, can we work simultaneously using Autodesk Docs alone? Okay, so that's really a good question. So with Autodesk Docs, you cannot actually do simultaneous work within Revit. So um, the opening of the files will be uh, one at a time. So for example, I open the file in the Autodesk Docs. Other people cannot um, you know, open the file or use the file since I've locked the file for myself. So that's what's happening in uh, Autodesk Docs. But if you purchase uh, another subscription, which is BIM Collaborate, Pro, so that um, is different. So if you have BIM Collaborate Pro, you'll be able to do uh, cloud work sharing within Revit. So that means you can actually uh, operate or open the same file at the same time uh, with, you know, 
uh, multiple users. So let's say I have five users on my team. So we can actually open uh, the same central file, which is in the cloud, uh, and operate on different work sets. So uh, again, if you need work sharing, cloud work sharing, uh, you will need to buy BIM Collaborate Pro. OK. So any questions, guys? Ayan, may nag chat. What will happen to my files in the cloud if my subscription ended? Can I still edit, manage, or view, or download only? Can I access the latest version if I renew the expired subscription? Okay. And dami, and dami ng question. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, I think what uh uh what he or she is trying to ask is if um, you can still access the files once that your subscription has ended for the Autodesk Construction Cloud. Uh, so basically what will happen is that if you did not renew, you will have a 30-day grace period wherein you can still access your files or you can do normal operations within the, uh, the platform. But that grace period is actually for you to uh, download or get the files out of the cloud and save it on your local machine. So once that 30 days is done, what will happen is that Autodesk will deactivate your hub and it's now uh, subjected for deletion uh, of the files and also of the site that you have. So you have to uh, actually uh, make up your mind within those 30 days. If you're going to renew, or if you're gonna let it go. Yeah. So next question, how about security of files, sir? Can we really trust ACC for managing our files? Uh, yes. Uh, so uh, these platforms that we have, they are all ISO certified. So you can check this on trust.autodesk.com on their compliance tab. So you can see there the ISO certifications that the Autodesk Construction Cloud and BIM 360 has. So these are certified to be secured, uh, certified to be trusted. So you don't have to worry about anything. So what you need to worry about is if you're sharing your credentials. So let's say you're sharing your username and your password. So that's very prone to, you know, uh, to be accessed by another or other people. Uh, but in terms of hacking um, internally, uh, Autodesk, Autodesk uh, platforms are very, cloud platforms are very secure. Thank you for that, sir. So next question, is there a plugin or app for MS Teams that is connected to Autodesk for easy documents collaboration? Um, not that I know of uh, that there is a plugin for MS Teams. So um, I'll check on this, but I don't think there is um, an existing plugin for uh, MS Teams and let's say Revit and the Autodesk Construction Cloud, but uh, I'll get back to you, sir, if uh, there is such a thing, but um, I don't think there is anything as of the moment, uh, but a, a lot of people is using MS Teams for um, remote uh, use of the software, but yeah, I'll get back to you with, with this, sir. Okay, thank you for that, Sir Jerus. So next question, can you provide any workshop regarding this topic? Uh, of course, uh, but uh, again, this is, will be a part of the Autodesk Docs um, workshop that we have. Uh, so basically in, the, in that workshop, we, we tackle on issues creation so we can actually uh, show how the Revit issues add-in uh, can be used uh, along with Autodesk Docs or Autodesk Construction Cloud on that particular workshop. 